Today we're going to look at a Glimmer application that gets weather data from the internet. Let's take a look. Okay, looks like we have our Glimmer app here. It's my buddy here, Chris, created this app and I was going to download it and just take a look at it. So let's first, let's fork it. Fork it to my system here, my GitHub. And now let's go ahead and clone it. Little, uh, Let's do this, HTTPS. Uh, let's paste it. All right, change. Let's see if we can just run it for now and see what it looks like. Well, we'll install the packages first. Well, I'll do yarn. Okay, great, everything installed here. So now we should be able to run it. So let's do an Ember S and see if it starts. Okay, so localhost and we'll run it at 4200. Let's see, let's see if it runs. So there was some kind of error. So we don't have any details. Let's go and inspect Look at the console. You try to create an action with action help, but the further argument on key up on my app was undefined instead of function. So let's take a look at the code, see what it's doing here. So let me bring that up. You can see here, here's the code. And if we go to our source folder, UI, components, my app, track weather, you can see it here. It does have this on key up where it's not liking it. This dot add zip, which is, I'm not sure where this add zip is. So we can set a new tracked record for add zip see if that helps at all. Let's take a look back here. So we're getting closer. You tried to create an action with action, but the first argument on key up on my app was undefined instead of a function. So let's try to find this action helper on, on key up on my app. Let's see here. So here's our on key up event on key up and here's our my app so this says we're passing the on key up the action on key up so what's in here so there's nothing in here so this doesn't make sense to me because there's no action it's passing because there's no action in here so let's Let's delete this. And let's go back to our app. Okay, so we got a little far there. You try to create an action with action help, but the first argument is undefined instead of a function. So I have weather icon didn't load. I got a Fahrenheit. It says current weather. So I guess I don't have the git. You try to create an action with the action helper, but the first argument was undefined instead of a function. Does it tell us what? So we're getting a little closer. So let's go back again. And take a look at what we have. So here's the template. And that's the source on key up equals action on key up. Let's see if we take this away. What happens? So if we delete this out completely, what happens?
So there it is. So it came up working there, but now we have no action on here, so we can't get this number. So, but it has hard coded in Portland. So let's take a look here again. And we look at our component. We have an on key up with this method. Here's our load weather. So right now, the zip, we're just putting in 97239 as the zip. So let's see if there's any way we can get the zip from the button here instead. So let's let's do something really simple. Let's just add some sort of the submit button. Let's add something happens when we click on it. So if we go back to the code, we can see here we have the button for submit. Let's, can, let's see if we can add an action helper to that. So the action, and we'll call it clicked, and we'll have to put it on on click equals and then in here we'll add clicked alert test does this work so now we have something called clicked has an action helper attached to it let's go back here press the submit button and yep so that's working so we know our actions are working here nothing in the box yet so let's take a look at the code in the box so in the template here we're not going to worry about passing anything into from my app to track the weather for right now but if we can go here so could we add something like this? Could we add value equals, and then let's put in attract value. Like let's put in, uh, they called it add zip, I believe. Add zip. Add zip. Let's see what that does. And Okay, so there's nothing in add zip, so as we expect, it's nothing. Let's do this. Let's put a number in here. We have test, but if we go back again, let's say the value is add zip. Let's see if we can do pull it up from here. This dot add zip. Let's see if that works. We'll save it. We'll go back. We'll see if it reloads, it does. So let's put in a one, two, three, four, five, hit submit. This is undefined, so obviously that did not work. So it doesn't let us put it in there. Uh, let's take a look. So that doesn't work. So it doesn't bind it to the value, unfortunately. to the input type value equals add zip which doesn't work hmm so we can do on key up and then put in the name of something here so why doesn't this work so if we go on key up uh, and we put in the name of the method action on key up and we just hit enter here we're back again waiting for it to reload Yeah, it doesn't like that. You try to create an action with action helper, but the first argument on key up on track weather was undefined. 
So it doesn't see on key up, so why? Let's go back here. Okay, so it has capital K and capital U, so let's change that. Capital K, capital U, on key up, saved. Let's go back again. It's gonna reload. Okay, no error this time. Oh, so now we got it. So now it's being saved correctly since we added to the on key up action helper. So at this point, we could do something like, like this. So if we go back to the code, this would be one way of fixing our problem here. So we're, what we're doing here is every key event, we're taking the event and taking the target value and adding it to the event here. If we go back here, we can then say uncomment the let zip here, this.args.zip. Well, it's not args. Let's do this.add add zip. If it's blank, then put in 97239. And then right here, We'll do some uh, string interpolation for zip. Is that right? Make sure. Some template literals. Uh, actually, I want to do this. I always forget the way this is doing. Yeah, so zip dot JSON. Let's save it here. Let's go back. And it's gonna reload. So now if we put in eight nine five two three, which is close to where I live, get the pop-up still. So it didn't change anything. So I think what we have to do now, we do see down here, it did change something here, but the, oh, here goes, Reno, Nevada. Let me try that chart again, 90210. Submit. It's not quite right. Let's take a look here. So this is async load weather, load weather. So what loads the load weather? Okay, it's in the constructor. So let, maybe we can just call it again. So I'm gonna add it right here. Right after you hit clicked, it's gonna load the weather. I'm gonna delete it here. Let's see here, let's save it. Let's go back. Gonna reload. Alright. 89523. Alright, Reno Nevada. 90210. Alright, Beverly Hills. Okay. 85632. I don't even know what that is. So yeah, okay. That seems to be working now. 54893. So it looks like it's even since we're doing the add zip there and it's being tracked. It's even doing it before we put in all the numbers. So if we put in something like eight nine, it gets messed up because it's the property isn't there yet. So I wonder if we could change that. So I mean in the in the async load weather right here, we could probably just not make it tracked. If we don't track it, then it shouldn't dynamically update. Okay. So then if we go back. Dang, looks like your build failed. Hold on. There we go. Now it's back. So now if I do 812, it's not going to do anything. But if I put the 89523 and then hit submit, then it's going to do it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which is New York. Who knew? Who knew that? So if I put 1, 2, then you're still going to get an error because we don't have any like error tracking in here. But I can put in a full one now. 
89511. And hit submit. And there it is. Okay, so that made the weather app a lot better. I mean, we could continue on here to make it even better. I mean, we could try to have some of the, in, in, we could have something in the my app and pass it into the track weather. Um, of course, we used on key up here. So there is other ways of doing it. Uh, we can do it on key down. We can bind it to a different event, but uh, that that would probably be one of the easiest ways to do it like this. And we could also just do a quick check here to make sure that the zip is at least five digits long. And if it doesn't exist, then you can, we could probably do something here where it doesn't do any calculations, it just exits out. Like if this JSON's empty, then we obviously don't want to do anything. Nope. See, you can see try catch block. If you try this try block here with a catch, then you can try to catch the error. So if we go back here, so if we put in 8, 9 and hit submit, you get an error in the console and it doesn't show anything funky there. It doesn't give you like a big error, although it does show nothing up here for the city. So 8, 9, submit. Yeah, so you can use the try catch block to catch it. All right, I think we've made some improvements to this program here. Now we can uh, see the weather better. Does a little bit better error checking. Um, so let's let's submit it back. Let's make a pull request and put it back. So first, we'll add an upstream remote add upstream. And I'll go back to the original one, add an upstream. Okay. And then we're going to, let's see here, get remote dash V. So our origin's here, upstream's correct. So now let's get fetch upstream. Okay, we're good there. So I want to make sure if I do pulls, it sets it to the right place. So I'm going to upstream two equals upstream slash master master. Okay. So I'm going to create a pull request with my changes. So I guess this is what I have. I have my template, just a few changes to each. Let's see here, just a few changes to each. Okay, so I'm going to get check out B. I'm gonna call it PR uh, zip fix, I guess. And everything came along with me, so I'm gonna get add get commit dash m added zip um, fix. And then I'm going to push it. Zip fix. I'm putting my username information. It has been pushed. Here is my pull request. Here's my changes. Add zip. I did try catch block in there. I changed a few things and add the key bump. Here is one implementation using on key up. Hope this helps. Okay, so I added a, a pull request to this, to this, uh, this, my buddy's, um, sample app, just to give him an idea of how he did it. If you like these type of videos and me going through code like this, uh, let me know. Uh, maybe I'll do more in the future. Thanks. Take care.